You have recently become an investor in corporations on Wall Street and you're following them more closely now and you're hearing more and more how do they pierce the corporate veil. What does that mean? Hello, I'm Robert Todd and I'm here to answer the question how to pierce the corporate veil. Well generally what is contemplated with this phrase is that when a corporation performs an act and specifically corporations perform acts through their officers and board of directors so the corporation is not actually physically doing it themselves but doing it through the board of directors or officers they do so with the fiduciary duty to their shareholders and they do so with the notion they're going to do so in good faith and therefore courts are very reluctant to hold corporations responsible for the actions of the board of directors and the corporate officers. But the whole idea of piercing the corporate veil has to do with the corporation through its officers and through the board of directors not acting in compliance with what the corporation articles of incorporation and corporate bylaws require. And when they do that, they do that, that at the peril of the officers and the board of directors. I'm Robert Todd and thank you for watching.